this time. Nintendo 64! Oh my god! <laughs> Be honest, anybody who grew up in the 90s were that excited to get an N64. Probably. I mean, it, remember that meme was it, that meme was taken from a very real uh, 1990s piece of family. Dude, the 64 is the best system. It has a good amount of games in there, but I wouldn't call it the best system. I mean, I remember for the house con we were just at, Science actually brought over an original N64 with games. Hmm. Uh, we didn't end up we didn't end up playing it uh, just because of how everything worked out. But okay. he did say, bro, bro, bring it back for do over con. Hmm. Well, well, that being said, uh, welcome everybody for me uh, to the stream where I play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, this has been on my to-do list for a while, ever since I could um, figure out how to stream N64 games, because I had um, an older computer that couldn't work as well. Um, but yeah. Ocarina of Time is that one particular game that I think a lot of people were introduced to Zelda. I know that there were those who played Zelda before this came out, but I think it's what helped hit the mainstream. I could be wrong here, but it's how I was introduced. Uh, what a I second, I thought this was supposed to be Xenoblade. God damn it. <laughs> you have a problem, I swear. <laughs> Uh, where's L? There it is. Ah, no, I, I don't! No, I don't! What? I hope no one finds it sus that I'm just randomly sitting in. Jedi Padawan, as much as I would want to stream Xenoblade, I don't know how. Unless I, unless there is a miraculous capture card that doesn't have a stupid input lag. I think there is. Um, consider, <laughs> there are capture cards that are actually, yeah, sorry. Um, for one, there are capture cards that will sometimes do that themselves. Like, um, I don't know if you remember this, Goldie, but one capture card I do have, although I lost all the, I don't think I have it anymore, actually. I lost all the cabling to it. Uh, it was called an HD PDR2. I tried um, that. I I'd be really doubtful unless someone gave it to you because they don't make it anymore. Hmm. Oh, so they're discontinued. Um, I don't know. I I imagine they must have replaced it by now. But uh, basically, you put an HDMI in. You need two HDMI cables. One that goes into the PC into the capture. The other one goes from the capture device to. Well, okay. If you do a game console, then. That one's meant for game consoles. There are some, however, that just plug into your PC. Okay. Like, there's one, like there's one I think it's by Elgato, I, I don't remember. You plug it into a PCIe yes, slot. Um, Golden, if you're interested in streaming Xenoblade, on God, I will buy that game and mail it to your house. Whatever, whatever it is you want, honey. Alright, because I am going to go... Apple Pay? Well, because you, because I have the Chase app on my phone, which makes me able to use ATMs. Uh -huh. So I may be able to take out some cash and go to Because I do want to make dinner tonight. I don't want to order out again. Yeah, I understand. The only thing that has not made me feel ill from ordering out <coughs> is one breakfast burrito from this place called Tom's on DoorDash. And it's such a good breakfast burrito. I got you a breakfast burrito. I'm a hither. It's been a hot minute. Also, if it helps, uh, I gotta think of bag of potatoes, so you can do some fun stuff with that. I wanna do something with pasta, so I don't know if I'll do anything with potatoes tonight, but I may do something tomorrow. Okay. Pasta's cheap anyway, it's like a buck. I made a good amount of money with the video that I re that Saber released today. I think I'll be fine. I was just voicing an opinion. If people haven't seen it, go watch Saber's new uh, What Ruined Star Versus thing. I edited the entire part where he runs through every season. I had to basically watch every episode of Star Versus again because I had to keep going through for clips. <laughs> um, I don't know how to feel. Excellent. I like that show up to a point. 
My favorite part was, um, so you know the show Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. So, no, you know how much people don't like the finale of Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. So, Saber said in the video, uh, lest we forget, you know, this is not the first time a fandom was mad at a finale. Remember, uh, lest we forget the Game of Thrones finale that happened a month before. And then, here's the thing, he was wrong. It didn't air a month before the Star Wars finale. It aired the same day. Oh. So I made an editor's <laughs> note that says, uh, 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 no, no, this aired the same day. And then I took a clip from a Tom's Cup video where Tom's like, oh no, this is much worse. <laughs> I also was able to sneak in an H-Bomber guy clip into that video. So I'm proud of myself. Because he's just like, oh, we that the uh, spells inside the wands are alive and have families. And that's really cute and won't be tragic at all, right? Then I have H-Bomber guy come and being like, foreshadowing is a literary device. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your playing. But oh, that's you, good key. But yeah, you guys awesome. watch. Got uh, people go watch that video because I edited in it and I'm proud of myself. Gives <laughs> me money, so I can do things that I want. Yep. Like go to New York and buy things from the Nintendo store that Brett can't have. I will get you something from the Nintendo store. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym and stuff, so have All right, fun. Have fun. Don't have too much fun now. <laughs> Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> Navi the fairy, listen to the words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon its realm. Ah, oh, so Elon Musk. <laughs> I was about to say climate descending. Isn't that a like? How long ago was this game made? Uh, it was back in night. It came out the year you were born. Damn. So like, fucking, <laughs> this game was twenty four years too early to be talking about climate descending. <laughs> yep. So male malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so Muster. long, the Kikuri Forest, the source of light has stood as a barrier, deter uh, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. Well, but, apparently not, because they're fucking attacking us now. <laughs> but, I'm tish. but, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. Well, you it's... are a tiny fairy. <laughs> no, it's the Deku Tree talking to her. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy. To begin his journey. It's <laughs> just like Navi, hey, I, you're talking. I just got flashbanged by words. She calls you boy without a fairy, and like that just made me think of Elden Ring, where you start off as a maiden less tarnished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> destiny he... it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. So much stress for a little kid. <laughs> and you're playing this game at the perfect time for all of its jokes to still be relevant in a really roundabout kind of way. Well, they're about to continue. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. He's on his deathbed suffering cancer. Ah. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest. Nay, the world depends upon thee. <laughs> hey. Hey, get to it! <laughs> I think the one Zelda game oh, I played like ever with, with like, I think the one Zelda game I play, played ever with this character in it, like the little fairy, it was like the mm -hmm. most annoying character ever in that game. That's Navi. <laughs> that was like, another statement. Wait, wait, to kid, to you're supposed. Hold on, kid. You're supposed to lift the rock from the bottom up. His <laughs> hands are like midway on the rock. <laughs> you can break Dumb shit. That <laughs> Navi, I thought you knew Jesus, better. Navi. <laughs> it just flies to... Okay, how much have you drank, Navi? <laughs> She's very new to this, like, <laughs> trying to save the world stuff. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Which would be even more terrible. Hello, Goldie, wake up. The, situation. the great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Goldie, get up. I've had too much to drink last night. Leave me alone. Hey, hey, come on. This... <laughs> we almost I had just to imagine, I just imagine, like, yeah. Golden's the one laying in bed, and Aeon's the little Navi fairy. Hey. 
Try to hey, wake him up. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Smack. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. That's not Did wrong. Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Oh, I'm suddenly a hero now? Yes, you have to go and save the world! <laughs> you finally woke up. I'm Nobby the Fairy. The, <clears throat> the great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. It's nice to meet you. I do apologize for eating while um, I'm talking. No, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going. I would like to recontextualize this into a like far more literal version of itself. And You've back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> You've effectively been involuntarily conscripted by a giant tree and also given a really no annoying squeaky partner out of nowhere, and you can't <laughs> even respond to it. Yeah. So, the American um, draft system, then. <laughs> well, you don't get a fairy when you're drafted, so... I mean, I that would make me... <laughs> that would get volunteered much better, though. You yeah, get a gun! Imagine having, like, a volunteer, like, little fairy thing with your squad kid, like, Where are the Russians at? <laughs> We're there. Thanks, Tinkerbell. Okay, come here. Come here straight. Why is that person so excited to see a fairy? Haven't they seen one before? <laughs> What's really funny is that if you look in real, if you look at like real life lore, uh, the idea that fairies look like little pixies was a Disney thing. In yeah. real life, they're actually like legitimately horrifying. Like something more like crafty and sometimes not. Okay, they don't really go into non That's more like hateful, but but like they are they, they are like. Stupid. Are they accurate? Are are they accurately represented in Pan's Labyrinth? Because I think that's where the uh, fairy idea also like I, it, that seems to be more of a creepier version, unless there's something else I'm missing. I mean, I don't know because you don't really. There are like intermediate spirits that exist in all cultures, but like fairies are more of a northern thing, and Spain wasn't considered part of the northern tradition. Hmm. It was considered more like, like Iberia is kind of its own culture, but it was considered more like classical West, like especially Roman. But like, I don't know if there were Celts in Spain, but like most of the time you see stories like Bay, it's like I, it's like the Irish Celtic, is like specifically the ones who talk about that. Oh, okay. Ah. Uh. So in other words, it's similar to what happened with the fit with the angels, where we think, oh, they look like humans. But then you look at an actual biblically accurate angel, and you just go, "Oh, Lovecraft had some influ had some influence in this, even though he wasn't born yet." Oh yeah, no, angels are like extremely like they go straight from like the head of his the descriptions of angels are actually weirder than ninety percent of what I read from Lovecraft. I'm not even that's not even a joke either, and that's not to shit on Lovecraft, but because I do I do love Lovecraft. But I do think that angels sometimes are described as having freakier appearance. Oh, wait, I'm it's completely like, are like, I'm armless. Yeah. Strange geometry. Mm hmm. I mean, they have eyes within their eyes within their eyes. <laughs> and that's not even the weird part. You can't even comprehend what a seraph looks like without exploding. Pretty much. <laughs> you still can't comprehend it. The difference is that you're now on fire or exploded. <laughs> Hello, look, Kuba, changeling. By the way, I do have to unfortunately go now. Call when the trip oh, okay. is empty. All right, see you Bye bye. Bye. I poked Wolfhead. He says um he disconnected his mic for the um, stock mount or something like that. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, I'll be okay. He, 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 he'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, back to the Kikori Forest. He keeps turning right for some reason. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm not hmm. angling it correctly or something. I don't know. I don't know either. I've always known the controllers for the controls for this game are. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> 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 okay. Hey guys. Yes, Pikachu. Yeah, you know fantasy creatures like werewolves or just anything that has a really big transformation? Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Where do you think they get all that extra biomass from? Magic. There is something that <laughs> there is something I've seen. Like, okay, um, pardon me for mentioning this name because some people don't like the movie. Have any of you seen the movie Underworld? Nope. Um, um, I'm familiar with it. Okay. Well, there was a segment where a character was going through the transformation, and it kind of demonstrates why it hurts so much when you're going through the transformation because, like, your bones are breaking back and forth and readjusting in a short amount of time, mm -hmm. which is a big ouchie. Mm -hmm. All the muscle build up too, so yeah. Underworld was kind of an interesting movie, but I think they kind of went over the top with the sequels. God damn it! Get out of the way, yeah. stupid boulder. Overdone sequels seem to be a thing with that. Um, yeah, that's that's an that's an with horrors trope, and yeah. stuff. Oh, duh! It would actually help if um. <laughs> no. <laughs> there. Yes, you may now enter. How many sequels did Underworld have? You can now enter yes. into the hole. <laughs> in hole, get in hole! Get the hole! They had just five <laughs> sequels, what the fuck? Just Again, in hole. yes! <laughs> A minute, we're all the kinstones. Uh, fuck shut off. The fuck up. <laughs> there are no kinstones in this. Kinstones weren't even a thing yet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Good the fuck was it's like, that? It's like Ryza, not only is the kinstone bullshit just there. Yeah. I also is like I also do not have very fond memories of the Minish Cap streams, so can you not? <laughs> I had some of the Minish Cap. <laughs> you know, I love that once. Okay, say what you will about Smosh. I mean, I'm not gonna defend them or anything, but I do like their earlier works with like if games were realistic. I love their skit on Ocarina of Time. Where somebody who's dressed up as Link going, ah, Jay, Jay, and a neighbor comes in, what the hell are you doing to my stuff? I'm looking for <laughs> rupees. <laughs> like, I watched a Smosh video very recently. Their new stuff isn't bad, but it's just like, I wouldn't mind. I, I do prefer the older stuff. Well, the, the reason it ended up changing so abruptly was not only because Ian, Ian and Anthony were getting really tired, but it was also, well, at least probably just exhausted but it was also the fact they sold the company to someone else which they mm. ended up changing the pro the uh, the entirety of smosh so dramatically that anthony just said fuck this and quit which is why he's more popular as an interviewer than anything else because hmm. he and interviewed I... he interviewed markiplier a lot i think he interviewed markiplier and probably the most popular one he interviewed a corpse husband also known no, as yeah. corpse <laughs> He actually interviewed Howie from uh, America's Got Talent. Oh, nice. Yeah. Recovery heart. Hey! But I don't think you got hurt yet, so... Oi. <laughs> I was gonna say, but, uh, that was too dickish. Because, like, I remember back in, like, in the middle of, like, when they were still under Defy Media, like, that whole Smosh Games and all that stuff, that content was pretty funny. <laughs> and then, uh... And then later, I want to say more currently, they have a bunch of... Everyone was an entirely new cast. Like, they're all right, but like, there's one or two that are funny. But the rest were just like, eh. Average. Bag. Yeah. Like, the, like they just jokes. exist for a paycheck. Oh. I mean, I want to say that. Like, they, I think they all, like, like being there, but it's just, like, they... Get, like, there's no material know. for them to really work with. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at least it's not the Smosh movie, which... Oh, God, I can't believe that it was made. I is forgot that was like, even a thing. That is, is a like, thing. Is every time you play a game like this, and you and you go into, like, buildings to, like, open chests or break things, and you just see people sitting there, like, don't they're, they just wonder, like, what, why are you breaking my stuff when you come in here? <laughs> I mean, most... I mean, when you think about it, like, they don't even give a shit. No, they're just, like, standing there, just like, like, why? 
that's just Joka, why. <laughs> I mean, Joka, you need to remember that this is the exact same thing that also happens in Pokemon, and they just give you tutorial stuff. <laughs> I just... Hey, I'm gonna teach I, you how I to just... catch your Pokemon, but first, I need some coffee. <laughs> I think my favorite part of Pokemon games is like when you walk into people's houses and then just talk to them, and then they're just like, they're like, oh yeah, we're very open to talking with you, even though we don't know who you are, 10 year old. <laughs> Guys, Jedi I just... Jedi Padawan says, hey Golden, if you had to choose between a, choose a traveling companion for Link, who would you choose between Elzo, Navi, and me? Who the hell's Elzlo? That silence is <laughs> very telling. But I, I just, I just had a really big brain moment. What? What if we've been thinking about it all wrong this entire time, and the reason no one cares that Link is destroying shit is because <laughs> Hyrule has the cycle, so everybody knows. Oh, it's like some kid <laughs> who just suddenly has a sword they know how to use is just gonna roll through all of our homes, breaking all of our shit. But they are gonna defeat Ganon. He so. also. It'll all be fine. So, what if this breaking pot stuff is all just part of the prophecy, and they all know it? <laughs> and, like, we've all just been assuming that they're all just like, why is he breaking our shit? But no, in actual fact, it's just like, they know exactly what's going on. <laughs> also, uh, uh, also, Golden, uh, yes. Elzo is the, min is, the, is the hat from the Minish Cap. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're basically asking, who would you rather tolerate, you know, leading you? Navi? The hat or Ryza? <laughs> okay, you know what? At least with Ryza, like, I'm pretty sure that Xenoblade would be a good game. Hmm. So there's my answer. <laughs> Congratulations, I... Ryza. You changed from a griffin to a fucking fairy. How do you feel? Xenoblade! <laughs> <laughs> Just a little Xenoblade! <laughs> oh, I've already been here. Where's the goddamn store? I need to purchase a shield.